girls. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Well, here we are um, for our morning meeting again. So we're gonna look at our calendar. Can anybody tell me what day, what month we're in? That's right, we're in the month of April. April 2020, and let's count to it together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're on the number nine. Boys and girls, I just remembered we didn't do our letter of the um, letter of the week yesterday. We'll have to look at that. We can't forget that today. So we're on the ninth. Let's find out what day of the week it is. It's not Wednesday. That was yesterday. And let's see. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Boys and girls, what day of the week it is? It is Thursday. Thursday looks like Tuesday because they both start with T. But Tuesday and th Thursday both have a different beginning sound. And we've talked about this, that t -t Tuesday makes the T sound and th th Thursday because of this hissing H next to the T. Th th Thursday. It's so silly. It's a silly sound. So we know that one's Thursday because it starts with the TH. So today is eight, Thursday, April 9th, 2020. And this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I hope you think of some wonderful ways to rejoice this morning and to be glad in it um, in this day. I hope that you find ways to help your family out around the house. Maybe you can um, do a little gardening work or working outside or organizing your toys or um, maybe taking some wipes and cleaning up your bathroom. I would love to hear about how you guys are helping out at home. All right, we have some questions to answer. Well, just one, one question to answer. Have you decorated Easter eggs yet? So we talked yesterday about dyeing Easter eggs and how we have to hard boil the egg. So we asked if you like to eat them. Now, have you decorated them? I'm sure some of you have and some of you haven't. So we're just going to put the names up randomly and see. You are gonna have to tell me. Look at look for your name. Find your written your name, and tell me, have you decorated your eggs? I just guessed. I don't know if this is right or wrong. I didn't really pay much attention to whose name I put up. But um, let's count together. And which one has more? Yes, has more. That's right. Let's count how many. It's all the way to the top. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Magic marker, can you make an eight? She did. All right, let's see how many knows. One, two, three. Magic marker, Mr. Magic marker, can you make a three? Good job, Mr. Magic marker. Yay, they got it right today. Let's count all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11 friends are here today, and guess what I forgot to do? All of you are probably sitting at home. Miss Christy, Miss Christy, the weather, the weather. I did, I forgot the weather. <laughs> but I know that you guys were reminding me at home, weren't you? You were probably remember, reminding me to do the letter of the week yesterday, and I completely forgot. That's okay. We'll do the weather, then we'll do the letter of the week, okay? Here we go, ready? What's the weather, what's the weather, what's the weather like today? All together. What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it rainy or windy? What's the temperature? What's the temperature? Is it hot or is it cold? I think it's going to be warm today and that's so exciting. You can get outside um, and play. So let's look at this letter E. So yes, so the past two days we talked about the letter E when it says the short sentences, F, F, egg, and F, F, elephant. Now, E's are cool letters because they make two different sounds. Sometimes they say their own name, like E, E, eagle, eagle. Eagle is a, a word that says the vowel name. It says, starts with the sound like eagle, like 
Elena. But Ellie makes that soft sound, right? Eh, eh, Ellie, and E, E, Elena. What about eh, eh, Emmett? Emmett makes that soft sound too. All right, so let's say, um, eagle beat, um, eagle starts with the letter E, letter E, letter E. Eagle starts with the letter E, 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 eagle. Good job. Now we're going to go back into our eggs, our Bible eggs here. We're talking about the Easter week. What ways are you, what ways are you preparing for Easter? Have you guys talked about Easter with your families? Have you guys shared the Easter story that we've been talking about so far with your families? That would be such a great idea. Wonderful way to share the gospel with your family. Tell them about what little things we find in our eggs. So we are going to remember our first egg was the donkey. The second egg was the coins. The third egg was the cup. The fourth egg, oh, what was the fourth egg? The praying hands. Remember Jesus prayed? Then we had the, the whip when Jesus got hurt. Then we had the crown of thorns when Jesus got hurt as well. And now we're going to see what number seven is. Oopsies. Number seven was already open. And you see nails. And the nails pierced his hands and his feet to the cross. And that hurt so much. But this is where we get the symbol for Christian Christians. We wear a cross. Have any of you seen this symbol before? The cross where Jesus died. And it's very, very important to, to, um, to know why we have that cross. We have that cross because that's how Jesus saved us. All right, let's look at number eight. Woo, another. Ooh, you guys know what this is. That was a rowdy dice. Yeah, it's a dice because you know what? When, when Jesus died, they gambled over his clothes. They cast lots. I'm not sure you would know what that means, but the third one is, oof, this is a spear. This was used to make sure that Jesus had died. And he had. Jesus died. So many people were sad. And so many people were scared. How do you think Jesus' friends felt? The disciples. They were very sad. And today's Thursday, we talked about that, and tomorrow is Good Friday. And Good Friday is the day that we do honor and think about the day that Jesus died. And when we think about the day that Jesus died, it's also, it's awfully important to remember to tell Jesus all the things that you've done wrong and say sorry for them. So, so sorry, Jesus, that I can't be perfect. But Jesus, thank you for being perfect and thank you for taking my place. Isn't that wonderful thing that he did for us? He took our place and he loves you so much that he did that. Boys and girls, I love you so much too. And I know that this has been going along on for a long, long time, but I hope that you're all having a wonderful time spending it with family and getting to play and enjoy it, the company of, of uh, maybe your siblings, your mom, your dad, whoever else you're home with, maybe your pets. Let's pray and thank God for that, that gift he gave us through Jesus. And that even when we're feeling separated, our God is always close and near to us. 